Hi, Trey Mills, your VBA craftsman. This morning, I'm going to walk you through dynamic forms, specifically Excel VBA dynamic forms. So we're going to use my Build a Better Personal Budget tool that I've developed and is available free on my website, www.excelandvbacraftsman.com. So to get started with, let's invoke the tool. Hit the Enter button, and it pops up. Boom. A little off screen, but that's fine. So, let's position this so you can see. Okay, how about right there? Looks good. How about we assume I get a salary of $1,000 a month, and it's paid out monthly, of course, and we say add, modify, row. Bam. Worked great. No issues. We can go on from there, right? But, well, we don't even have to do that. Let's assume that I get that same 1000 bucks bi-weekly. Uh, means every other week. So if we hit this, you're going to see that the weekdays have popped up. So this room, it matters what day of the week I get paid, right? Because some periods are going to have three payments or charges, or some periods are going to have two. Most will have two. So let's say we get paid on Fridays, and we say add or modify row. Now you saw that this popped up and changed, right? So example, if we said monthly, it doesn't show. But by weekly, we need that date. So it dynamically changes to reveal the data that we, and right away the user is going to look at it and say, oh, I see what they want, right? So we'll hit Ed Modify, and let's see what happens. Oh, okay, another form has popped up and said, okay, what's the first pay period? So let's say the first pay period is, let's just say proceed. Now let's look. Some periods have more than one, more than two pays in it. So the dynamic form provides a way to, to ask additional questions and keep the same form in front of them. And it, it, it's it's very slick because it, it it helps the it helps the user understand what's being asked for very quickly. So in uh, my website, I go into detail to detail the code. It's rather it's a bit lengthy, so it'd be more than I want to put into a, a video. But I suggest you visit it. It's www. Um, Excel and VBA Craftsman, and I walk through how to do this. And I think you'll find it very useful, and I think it'll make your Excel applications much more professional. Thanks.